This video is made with the sponsorship of Ecrotech New Zealand, one source for all your beekeeping requirements. Hi, Trev here from Trev's Bees on Facebook and YouTube. This is number two in harvesting honey. And today um, we're going to show you, we've, we've be, just been through that hive. If you have a look at the previous video that we put up, we just been through these two boxes and checked it for disease to make sure that we are allowed to hand, harvest honey. Um, I've uh, diagnosed that it's okay, so now the next job is to get in here and um, get this ready for harvest. Now a few months ago we made a video of bee escape boards. Now these boards uh, have got a one-way system so the bees can come in through the hole here and out through this little entrance to go back down into the hive. So it goes that way. So coming out of the honey boxes, the bees will go down there, come out here, and then they can't find their way back in because they can smell the honey through here. They know that there's honey upstairs, they want to go up there but they can't because they try to go through there and they can't work out that the doorway's over here. So that's the escape board that we're going to put on today. This is going to be a relatively short video um, because the next video after that will be taking the honey off this hive over here. So these are the honey boxes that we're going to put back on again. Three of them plus the comb honey. Um, and we're just going to harvest that as normal. But these three bo or four boxes are full of bees. So we've got to have somewhere for them to go. You've just seen in here, there's a lot of bees in there and there's not room in there, all those bees out of here, just to fill in that box. So what we're going to do is we're just going to chase these bees down a bit. And this is a, I'll just put that on here in the meantime. This here is a top feeder room. And that's so that we can use those to feed the bees if we need to. So that's gonna give 90 millimeters, four and a half inches of space there for the bees to cluster around over the next 48 hours. We're now going to put this bee escape on here like that. Any bees that come down and want to get out to go and do their morning toilet will go down here and into, the, uh, and into that space down below. All right, clear as mud. We'll get rid of our little cover. Alright, so that's the first box on, and just to see, so you can see what we're talking about. All these bees that are on here, will end up down below that bee escape. So that's what we're going to be harvesting later, in 48 hours time. I like to leave the bee escapes on for 48 hours.
Alright, last box. Oh. Just as a little warning, word of warning. Three quarter box weighs about 23 to 28 kilos. That's about 50 to 55 pound for the Americans. Take a bit of care, saw back, and an old fellow like me, that's getting a long way up to lift that weight. Take care. So I'll put the hive mat back on it, or the, our glass roof that we've got on here, or acrylic roof. And that's it for bee escapes. Great way for handling honey, taking, taking the honey off. We haven't upset any bees, and today with this rain I thought we were going to have a get a hiding, but we haven't. So that's it for from uh, Trev and Trev's Bees, Facebook and YouTube. Stage two. Next one is we're going to deal with this.